You ever wonder what it would be like to get ambushed by the Apache? Now, nah, just me? Uh, I imagine it would be quite the jarring experience. One second, you're half asleep in the saddle, just daydreaming, maybe thinking about little Juanita over there in White Oaks. And the next, you're plunged into complete and utter chaos, horses rearing as men drop to the ground, cursing and jerking rifles out of scabbards as they dive for cover. A brief moment of extreme violence mixed with fear and confusion, and then silence. A silence sporadically punctured as the natives fall back and hurl insults and pot shots your way, hoping to get lucky or goad you out into the open. Those who are brave or foolish enough to stick their heads out do so carefully, scanning the horizon for the telltale sign of sun glitting off of rifle barrels, or the dust kicked up from a muzzle blast. Anything to determine where their attackers are hiding or how many of them are out there. The others hug the desert floor as tight as possible, the scalding ground burning from below and the high desert sun baking from above. You don't dare make a move other than try to make a bulwark of sorts out of some rocks within reaching distance. Blistering stones that won't stop no bullet, but good lord willing, they might just deflect an arrow. And God, you're thirsty. Too much of beaver's rot gut the night before and you and the boys ain't got but one canteen between you. Ain't no way in hell that's gonna last till night and besides... Tommy over there caught a slug down low, and he's already begging for a drink. You reach down, finger in the dirt, and come up with some small, smooth pebbles to pop in your mouth. An old-timer's trick to help alleviate the thirst. And you run through your options. This ain't the movies, so there'll be no John Wayne riding in with the cavalry. And hell, if the cavalry actually did show up, they wouldn't know who to shoot first. The Apache or you. Thus is the life of an outlaw. Still, though, a U.S. government-issued bullet would be a hell of a lot better than what happens if them Apache down there get their hands on you. You've heard the stories, maybe even seen the bodies yourself. The bleached bones of other unlucky bastards scattered across the arid wasteland. Save the last bullet for yourself. Ain't that what they say? Now hold on now, let's just think this thing through. If there's only a few Mescalero out there, and sure as shit they are Mescalero, you might just have a chance. Unfortunately, judging by the rounds they're starting to send your way, there's at least half a dozen. At least. That's 12 hardened killers who spent their entire lives perfecting the dark art of warfare. And there ain't but five of you. Make that four. Tommy doesn't stop moving. So what do you do? Obviously, you don't just lay down and die, right? You put up a fight. If your time's up, then your time's up, and you damn sure ain't gonna make it easy on them. You'll sell yourself dearly, make them earn that scalp. Talk yourself into it. Begin working yourself up. Hell, I've been through tougher scrapes than this came out all right. Don't they know who the fuck I am? You lever another round into your Winchester, just in time. Here they come, boys. Steady now. Make every shot count. The words still hanging in the air as they fling themselves into your mitt, screaming like demons. Bronze devils bubbling up from the desert floor. You drop one, then another as the bullets ricochet off the rocks and tug at your clothing. The sound of men screaming in defiance and fear as you choke on the dust and smoke filling your lungs. Your eyes stinging as you work the action on your rifle again and again and... They're gone. Once again, breaking off their charge as quickly as it began. Probing attack. Sons of bitches were just testing us. Oddly enough, you begin to laugh. That same peculiar feeling in your guts that you felt so many times before after cheating death. A deep, infectious belly laugh that spreads to your compadres. The type of laugh that feels truly earned. Honest. Ah, but then the adrenaline wears off and reality creeps in and something akin to fear begins tickling at your insides. In addition to testing your strength with that recent assault, them Apache also did for the last of your horses. And brother, it's one hell of a long way back to that last watering hole. You glance at the sky, judging there's a few more hours yet till sunset, thinking you'll break free in the cover of darkness, if you and the boys can make it that long. You top off your rifle and then start counting your ammunition, or what's left of it. A measly four shells. Wishing now that you bought a couple more boxes back when you had the chance. Once again, the thought enters your mind. Save the last bullet for yourself. <laughs> but you won't, and neither will your pards. Nah, there'll be no suicide pack here among these boulders. You're all too damn mean to go out like that. And young to boot, possessing that immortal optimism known only to young men with their entire lives ahead of them. An optimism that sometimes, every now and then, pays off in spades. Now, nah, by God, if you and the boys can last till nightfall, then you'll make a break for it. Throw caution to the wind, curse the fates, and, providence calls for it, go down swinging your empty rifles like clubs. Still, though, you can't help but think of Juanita and all them other Spanish angels. And you begin rummaging through your pockets, coming out with a piece of rolling paper and a stub of a pencil, 
scribbling out a quick note just in case. <laughs>